In India, some people have tasty chickpea and tomato curry for breakfast. It's also accompanied by puri, deep-fried flat bread. Try to say that fast. (laughs) It's hollow in the middle and gets puffed up with steam when it's heated up. Some South Africans eat putu pap for breakfast. It's a sort of oatmeal, but it's made from maize and water. This dish can be eaten throughout the day, but if you're having it for breakfast, it's paired with milk and sugar. Sengalese coffee is nothing like a tall Americano. The powder they use to brew this drink is made from coffee beans, grains of saline pepper, and cloves. It's way spicier than the good old pumpkin spice latte and gives you way more energy. Over in Morocco, people prefer drinking mint tea. For breakfast, they grab a couple of freshly cooked flatbreads. They're layered and can be served with jam or honey, but sometimes you can find one stuffed with veggies or even meat. The chickpea soup called lablani is a typical breakfast dish in Tunisia. It can be pretty spicy thanks to all the onion, cumin, and herbs they cook it with. You might get a poached egg on the side, if you're lucky. In Nigeria and some neighboring countries, people have fried bean cakes for breakfast. The main ingredients are black-eyed peas spiced up with dried chili, fresh onions, and fresh red chili pepper. These cakes are deep-fried and are a popular street food. Korean breakfasts are usually pretty filling. They're made up of many banchan, which are basically side dishes. There's kimchi, a sort of fermented cabbage, a rolled omelet, marinated veggies, and jjum, a sort of pancake. Wow! A Japanese breakfast can seem a bit more like lunch or dinner in other countries. You know, soup, rice, salmon, even pickled veggies. In Jamaica, people eat saltfish and ackee for breakfast. Ackee is an exotic fruit similar to lychee with a soft and creamy texture. One more tiny detail, it's kind of illegal in the US. It's mostly because the seeds are toxic, but you can eat the flesh safely as long as it's fully ripe. Better know the difference. Maybe the world's craziest breakfast sandwich ever comes from the Netherlands. They have sandwiches with candy sprinkles on them. Right, it's just sprinkles on top of buttered bread. Hagelslag, as it's called, means hailstorm, and it comes in various flavors – chocolate, vanilla, and fruit. A German breakfast might seem kind of heavy if you're used to just having a bowl of oatmeal. We're talking bread rolls, an assortment of cheeses and meats, and if need be, they can top it off with an egg or two. Coffee is the drink of choice to wash down this hearty meal. Oatmeal lovers, head to Finland. The traditional breakfast of this wonderful country consists of oatmeal they call pu'uru. It's served with fresh or sometimes frozen berries, sugar, and milk. The Italian breakfast is definitely not the main meal of the day. They might grab a cornetta, which is basically a croissant, maybe with a sweet filling, and a cappuccino. By the way, Italians usually only drink cappuccinos in the morning. And if you ever order a latte in Italy, you'll get a glass of milk. What we call latte in English is a cafe latte in Italy. Muesli is enjoyed all over the world, but especially in Switzerland. A typical breakfast muesli consists of oat flakes, raisins, dried fruits, nuts, usually mixed together with yogurt. In Sweden, people eat typical breakfast sandwiches called smurgos. It's a generously buttered slice of bread with some sort of topping. It can be ham, fish, or cheese, and it usually has some cucumbers, lettuce, or tomatoes thrown on there. Many people like it with hard-boiled eggs. People in Sweden are crazy about filter coffee. It tastes so good. The French breakfast is perfect for bread lovers. They have a full range of yummy breads and buns, and yup, they got that croissant thing that most people can't pronounce right. Hey, did I nail it? Maybe put a little French honk on it. Croissant. Get yourself some plain bread and some butter and jam on top, or opt for pain au chocolat. The most common drink is coffee, but many people prefer juice instead. An Argentinian breakfast can be similar to the French one. They have pastries and coffee for breakfast, too. Medjolunas, which is half-moon in English, look a whole lot like croissants. They're just a bit smaller and sweeter. If you're not a fan of sweet pastries, grab a piece of toast called a tostada. And if coffee isn't your thing, just have a glass of orange juice. 
yogurt, cereals, and eggs are mostly reserved for tourists. If you ever want to try a traditional Mexican breakfast, cook chilaquiles. Cut a bunch of corn tortillas into pieces and simmer them in salsa. The tortillas get a bit soft. Next, add some fixins. Avocado, soft cheese, even chicken. Put some rice and beans on the side and buen provecho. Want something lighter? Mexico has awesome pastries. There's one that's shaped like a shell, and one that looks like two ears stuck together. A Peruvian breakfast looks really exotic for those who've never been there. One of the traditional dishes is tacacho con sencena. Hope I got that right. It's basically roasted plantain with bits of pork. It's a popular type of street food, too. The two most important things for a Brazilian breakfast are bread and, mm, not exactly a toughie, coffee! The favorite kind of bread for many Brazilians is the French roll, which should be generously buttered before eating and might be followed by a few cold cuts. Tropical fruits like papaya aren't exotic at all in Brazil, so don't be surprised to see them on your table when you travel to Rio. Colombians have dozens of cool breakfast recipes. In Bogota, the capital, you can find changua, which is egg and milk soup with cilantro and stale bread softened in the broth. Another hearty dish is a calentando, made of reheated rice or bean leftovers served with sausages, avocado, and eggs. In Costa Rica, people usually eat rice and beans for breakfast too. Surprise, surprise! Unlike in Colombia, Costa Ricans grill plantains – they're like bananas but a lot less sweet – instead of sausages. Drinks are simple – coffee or juice. Getting hungry yet? One more country where rice for breakfast is super common is Malaysia. The way they make it is really cool, though. It's cooked in coconut milk and served with a variety of side dishes. It can be a boiled egg, a cucumber, anchovies, or even peanuts. Eggs in the form of an omelet and cake filling, deep-fried dough sticks softened in warm soy milk, twisted pancakes stuffed with veggies. If any of that sounds yummy to you, you should try a Taiwanese breakfast at least once. Wash it down with a variety of warm soy milks. There's plain or black, which is milk seasoned with sesame powder and peanuts. A Hong Kong breakfast wouldn't be complete without its very own milk tea. It's all about the technique they use to brew it. The sock-looking cloth that filters it is really thick. When the black tea finally comes out the other end, don't forget to add some evaporated milk and sugar to get that authentic creamy flavor. Now, don't get this one wrong. If you see sausages, eggs, and roasted meat for breakfast, it doesn't mean it's an English breakfast. Take a closer look. See that rice? Sweet bacon marinated in brown sugar and soy sauce. And a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines and enjoy your meal. It's scrumptious. If you ever travel to Indonesia, don't miss your chance to try some black rice coconut milk-based porridge for breakfast. Disclaimer, it's actually not black, it's more purple. It's called, I'm gonna try this, Buber Kitan Hitam. Was I even close? This stuff is especially yummy when topped with sliced bananas and cinnamon. They also have papeda, an oatmeal thing made of sago flour. It's starchy, sticky, and looks like pudding. Or slime. People in Myanmar are used to eating a hearty breakfast soup called mohinga. It's bursting with flavor. It has ginger, fish paste, lime juice, chili pepper, cilantro, and onions. The soup's made with catfish and even has noodles in it. Salty, sweet, spicy, and sour all at the same time. If there was a contest for the biggest breakfast in the world, the Irish would take the grand prize. Just think, a traditional Irish breakfast has bacon, white pudding, black pudding, hash browns, fried eggs or scrambled eggs, a couple of sausages, beans, and probably some fried liver. Already figured out how to burn up all those calories? <laughs>